Gemini, what's going on with you? This is going to be your weekly reading from the 24th through the 30th of July. I hope you guys are doing lovely. I'm coming to you from Vancouver City. I love it here, guys. If you're Canadian, let me know in the comments. I love, I love this country, guys. It's awesome. Amazing. I'd rather live here than the United States, for real. All right. But I'd rather live, I don't know, I think somewhere either Latin America or the Mediterranean is where I feel I'm going to retire in the far future. What's going on with you this week, Gemini? From the week of the 24th to the 30th, what seems to be the most prevalent energy that we're dealing with this week? What's going on with you, Gemini? Let's get two more shuffles. Wow, wow, wow. It looks quite positive, guys. All right. Happiness, contentment with yourself. So, in other words, this card to me, what it's, what it's telling me, what it talks about, is essentially that you're happy with just the way things are going with, or the way things are going in your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. It doesn't have to be financial. It's just this overall aura that you're projecting this week, that you're emanating, is very positive, guys. It's just filled with self-contentment. And it could be because you're experiencing a profound connection with someone else. Someone that ignites your, your uh, not only your interest, but ignites you. That's what I'm saying here. All right. <clears throat> what I'm seeing, what it feels like, guys, it feels like, you know when you meet someone that you're very attracted to, towards? You're attracted to someone, and it's it's reciprocated. It's like there's a mutual attraction towards one another, and just the relationship at first is just just full of this fiery passion and excitement. It's like you're excited to be to be in contact with the person and talk to them and flirt with them, and and just it's in that playful state of just excitement is what I'm seeing. All right, so I really get the feeling that this is gonna move towards your love reading. Um, we're we're just getting general energy here. You know, but uh, that's what I'm picking up here. It seems that, you, that you're doing quite well, just independently. But then there's this significant connection that that is appearing here and just wants to wants to uh, show itself. Let's clarify this connection here that's that is sitting right in the center of this. Let's clarify this. What is this? Let's get some more energy here. What is this two cups for you, Gemini? Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. Alright, guys. So, this connection has history already. It's not something new. Okay, it's not something new. It's, I feel, it's a connection that has like some sort of substantial history. And, and if the history of the connection doesn't go too far back, there's this hefty bond, okay? And a bond doesn't, an attachment doesn't necessarily have to be negative, right? It doesn't have to, it can, it, attachments do convert to, into something negative, right? When, we, when we're experiencing, when we don't have something that we're attached to, for instance, just say, someone gets married, their lover passes away. They're emotionally attached to that person and the fact that that person is now gone and they don't have that attachment, the fact that they're no longer getting those feelings that that person used to incite within them induces misery, okay? But when that person was around, that attachment that, that uh, you know, this person had was being fed and therefore the attachment wasn't negative just yet. But what I'm seeing here, like I said, there's a significant, there's a significant bond between you two. Okay, there's a significant bond between you two. It seems as if there's cooperation. There's intention to really relieve weight or relieve a burden off of the connection. So I'm getting the gist that this connection is in a phase where it's moving towards the higher scale of positivity within the connection. That's what I'm seeing here. Interesting. <clears throat> How is this going to tie into your love life? Let's see. Let's see. 
<clears throat> I like doing this general read initially and then moving into the love because the stories at times are different. I did a reading for someone, I, for someone else, for a different sign. And the first reading, I picked up on this very apparent relationship that they were dealing with. And then I went to love. It was absolutely tumultuous. It was a terrible, terrible fucking energy that I picked up on initially. But then I went to the love reading and it was an absolutely different relationship, which was positive and just something completely different, guys. So the most prominent energy that you may be dealing with this week is not necessarily your love life. We got other things in our life that are more significant than romantic love at times. But then there are times that significant... I mean, there are times that, that love, romantic love, is most significant, right? <clears throat> Let's see what's going on with you. What energy are you going to be experiencing regarding your romantic life this week? Gemini. Okay, interesting. All right, guys. <clears throat> Someone here is emotionally detached. All right. And I'm going to take that back. They're emotionally wounded. Okay, they're emotionally wounded. And what, what this is driving this person to do is to be closed off emotionally. So it's not necessarily that they're emotionally detached. It's just that they're suppressing their emotions because they're wounded. That's what I'm seeing. All right. This could be you. This could be the person that you're dealing with, guys. This is a general reading. All right. I'm going to clarify this. This um, four of coins, which, you know, is, is a card of, of holding tightly to yourself. Of holding tightly to and not really opening up. Not even being open. Let's get two more shuffles. Clarify this for. All right. So what I'm seeing here, interesting. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, this could be you. Again, I'm telling you, the roles may be interchanged, rolled or reverse rather. Uh, however, we're going to look into your person here specifically in just a moment. I just wanted to get a general overview of what you're going to be experiencing here this week. And what I'm seeing here is someone is invested in the situation. Yet, simultaneously, they're, they're invested elsewhere. Remember I said, I said earlier, someone is not ready to be vulnerable. Someone here is still dealing with some sort of healing, with some sort of uh, you know, the quest of finding tranquility within their own emotional state. And at the same time, they're dealing, they're investing into this relationship. How does that fucking work? It's like, I want to go on a, on a trip, right? And I, I am leaving my house. However, I'm still holding on to the door and I'm not letting go of the door. And, I, and, and yet I'm still like trying to reach for the car door to get out, to, to go about my way. Terrible analogy, but you guys understand me. They're invested elsewhere, not only in the connection, but also in, in, in whatever sort of inner tranquility it is that they seek. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's clarify this further. What is this Six of Swords? Yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not trying to bash whomever it is, whomever's energy I'm picking up, guys. But uh, this person has, they, they want this. They, they really do want to invest into a connection. All right, whether it's you or, or whether it's someone else, whomever it is that you're dealing with, this person that is hurt, this person that is having difficulty being absolutely vulnerable, Gemini, still wants this. They, want, they, they genuinely want this. And for that reason, they're, they're appearing as the Page of Cups. Look, originally, they appear as a, as a king. So there's a lot to give here. 
There's a lot to give here, Gemini. This person has a lot to give. There's a lot of emotions on the table to be offered, but they're not being offered. It, those emotions are not being offered. That's why it's appearing as a page. So someone here wants a significant relationship. However, they're not ready for it. That's what I'm seeing here, Gemini. All right. They're not ready for it. It is what it is. That, this is a to totally normal scenario, guys. This is a totally normal scenario. You know, maybe, maybe if this is not you, Gemini, maybe you could facilitate this individual in, in helping them heal. Or maybe it's you that needs that. You know, <sighs> this is not something negative. You know, if you're dealing with someone wounded, that's wounded, you, you can have a positive effect on them. You can definitely help them, but it's also something dangerous. It's something that I personally would not want to deal with. I, I am done dealing with fucking, with, you know, people that are, that potential suitors that are in a bad place. Because right now in my life, I'm just going up. You know what I mean? I just want nothing but positivity. I just, and that's all I'm attracting. I'm just attracting nothing but positivity. Amazing people, amazing people. I've, I've been traveling for the past 20 days, guys. And, and I've met loads of people. Like I mentioned earlier, currently I'm in Vancouver. I was going to leave yesterday, but I decided to stay because the hospitality that I'm, that I'm receiving from absolute strangers, you know, and it's just amazing, guys. It's truly amazing. Humanity is absolutely amazing when you're surrounded by the right people, right? So, you know, you just may be that for whomever it is that you're dealing with. You may be the right person for the per for whomever it is that you're dealing with. That's something to consider. Now, if you're the one that is broken, now if you're the one that is broken, just be wise with how you navigate the situation, guys, because you don't want to hurt someone. You don't want to bring someone else down for being down. The last thing is, you know, wanting to trauma dump. I think that's the term that they call it. You know, that's that's something that that is not too too appealing you know what i mean unless you have that sort of relationship established with this person which it doesn't seem as as the case then that would be fine right you, you want to be vulnerable and you want to express yourself and hopefully receive help from this person but it, it's it's all case specific guys i think i'm just getting i'm i'm rambling and i'm going way too i'm veering way too far into different directions so i'm gonna leave this here guys and i'll let you Apply with what you connect with here, and I hope you use this to your benefits and you found it helpful. I'm looking forward to connecting with you guys next week. I'll see you, Gemini.